Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to introduce you to the first Susan Ross Scholar. This is Stephen Corrin. The GPA is a solid 2.0. Right in that meaty part of the curve. Not showing off, not falling behind. George, the qualifications for this scholarship were supposed to be largely academic. I'm sure we're all aware of the flaws and biases of standardized tests. These aren't standardized tests. These are his grades. Besides, Stephen Corrin has the highest of aspirations. He wants to be an architect. <laughs> Is that right? Actually, maybe I could set my sights a little bit higher. Stephen, that thing is higher than architect. I think I'd really like to be a city planner. You know? Why limit myself to one building when I can design a whole city? Well, that's a good point. No, it's not. Well, isn't an architect <laughs> just an art school dropout with a tilting desk and a big ruler? <laughs> it's called a T-square. <laughs> You know, the stupidest guy in my fraternity became an architect after he flunked out of dental school. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank young you man. Very, very Susan much. would be very proud of what you're doing. Thank you. So you're denying him the scholarship just because he wants to be a city planner? I was betrayed. <laughs> that kid was like a son to me. And if there's one person you should be able to hold down, it's your own flesh and blood. <laughs> like my father, my father's father before him. You know, maybe philanthropy is not your field. Why'd you take away my scholarship, Mr. Costanza? Well, Stephen, I, uh... <laughs> These are my new friends, the Van Buren boys. He became so disillusioned, he had to join us. Oh. Nice. I want my scholarship back so I can be a city planner. What about architect, Stephen? City planner. 